in the new movie, The Infiltrator, you're playing a, a real person yeah. named of wow. Robert Mazur, right? right? That's right. And and this is a guy who infiltrates. Uh, is it the Colombian drug cartel? Yeah, the Medellin cartel. Did this? And this guy was taking his life in his hands. Yeah, he was a, a an undercover uh, police officer with customs, and for two and a half years, he went undercover. Laundering money for the Medellin cartel, actually having to do that crime in order to get deeper and deeper connected to the cartel. And once they got up as high as uh, Pablo Escobar's lawyer. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing that they did was so effective is that uh, it brought down the seventh largest bank in the world at the time, BCCI. Do you remember that? No. Nope. BCCI. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, you're not 60. Um, because oh, I, I remember, remember. Now. I remember now, yeah. I need to get one of those horns, you know. <laughs> um, and it's, it's amazing. It's one of the biggest drug busts of all time. One of right? the biggest drug busts. 85 arrests within two hours. Mm -hmm. And uh, it really took a, a dent out of the Medellin cartel. What really fascinated me about uh, Bob Mazur's story is that he was undercover in Tampa Bay area. And he also lived in Tampa. So he would check out, finish for the day being this undercover bad guy, and go home and be Bob Mazur, who was a dad and a father and helped the kids with homework or take out the trash and do normal things. Did you meet him? Oh, yeah. In fact, he's here. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's here. Um, I can't point him out. Uh, his, his safety is uh, paramount. Still? Oh, yeah, yeah. This there's th almost 30 years he ago. He won't allow himself to be photographed or videotaped or anything like that because um, he put 85 bad guys in jail, and they don't so he's forget. He's in danger all the time. There's a certain amount of danger. He's, he hides Are we in public. danger because he's we're, here we're, now? Okay. We're at a red level. All right. Uh, well, we have a clip here where uh, the deal that he is making with the Colombian cartel is in a little bit of a hiccup yeah. because all the funds have been frozen by the Reagan administration. That's right. And your character cannot actually give them their money back, and that's a problem. That's right. They, they need, well, I need to return this money to them or else uh, it's not good news for Bob Mazur. Jim? Kano says Don Chepe's $10 million is frozen, which is actually Pablo Escobar's money. And he doesn't give a rat's ass that our government did it. No, he but... wants his money, and it's not going to be over. Hey, no, listen to me. There's a Senate investigation into well, Noriega. You're not getting money. that went through Panama. Frozen is frozen. Accept it. Mark, it's f***ing up our operation. We need you to fix this for us. How am I going to fix this? You want me to call Senator Kerry? Hey, John, could you drop your investigation that the president has sanctioned? Because my friend Bob's getting really upset. Reagan wants Noriega's ass. Are you listening to me? Hey, hey, you know what Alcaino said? That's not an answer that keeps you alive, my friend, OK? Hey, what did he say that for? No, wait a second. Hold on. Did he threaten you? No. Did he put your neck in the news? Yeah, and he's squeezing. No, he didn't. Roberto didn't say that. He wouldn't say that. It's Escobar. No, wait a second, Bob. Are you in danger from Pablo Escobar if his money doesn't come through? Well, Mr. Mazur, wherever you are, stay safe, and we'll be right back with more Brian Cranston. Thank you.